came in through statements attributed to Lee Oswald's wife, who is still in seclusion, being questioned further by federal authorities. She is reported to have told them that one night last April, Oswald returned home and boasted that he had shot at Walker. There was such a shooting last April. That much is fact. Here is a police officer that night who rushed to Walker's home. He's examining the hole made in a window frame of Walker's second floor study. The general was sitting at his desk making out his income tax return. The bullet missed his head by inches, bore through a nine-inch wall, and settled in the adjoining room. Walker was spattered by wood and glass splinters, but not seriously hurt. Police here searching the yard the following morning determined the bullet came from a high-powered rifle not more than 75 yards away. Just who fired it is not yet proven. Here's what Walker said at the time. And this uh, is just further indications that uh, there is a threat to our individual rights and liberties. That was Walker last April 11th, the morning after the apparent attempt on his life. He is quoted now as saying he knew nothing about Oswald until Oswald was arrested in the killing of President Kennedy two weeks ago. Oswald's mother said today she knew of no connection between her son and General Walker. The mother also vowed her son's grave would not be moved despite threats it might be desecrated. Meanwhile, the investigations continue, but the state court of inquiry has been postponed until the presidential commission finishes its work.